developed artificial intelligence that can detect, detect lung cancer better than doctors. Dr. Mark Siegel is with us now. Is that right? Is it better, a artificial intelligence, better than a doctor? Which do you prefer, well, the cold, steel hands of, a, of a artificial yeah. intelligence or the warm, error-prone hands of a physician? Answer, you can have both. Well, yeah, but what, what, what is this? Artificial intelligence can do better than radiology? Explain it to me. It's fantastic. It's what? because if you have a huge computer base, and in this case, the study out of Chicago had over 40,000 images, three-dimensional, doctors, radiologists, rely on two-dimensional, slices of the lung, we call them. This was putting together one three-dimensional image, and they were less likely to underdiagnose or overdiagnose. so they were more likely in a patient where you've never seen a previous CT scan. And by the way, CT scans are saving lives already with early diagnosis of lung cancer, huge advances using them for lung cancer. In this case, they were the, the Artificial intelligence was better, more accurate than 20 radiologists who had 20 years of experience each. Now, here's the caveat, Stuart. It's not going to replace the radiologist. You go out to an area of rural area where you don't have such a highly trained radiologist and they get this artificial intelligence, it will help them save lives. You use it as a tool. You do not replace a doctor with it. The doctor has this looking at them when they look at the images. That's they already tool. know what the no, artificial intelligence okay. says. It's just an improved Fan tool. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. You used the word fantastic. I'll take that. Huge advance. But you, um, but you need a computer database of a Google. In order to be able to have this good of an artificial intelligence, you need sense. something like a Google. Oh, look, I've got one minute left, and I wonder if you can explain this to us. There's some concern about, here it comes, 5G. Health concerns over 5G that will soon be on my phone. What's the problem? Well, first of all, it's a tremendous advance, and I want us to win the trade war on this. It's huge, 5G, because yeah. it's higher definition. Right, right. The problem is that it's got to be closer to you. So we have to put in... Well, physically closer. Right. To, to go faster and to transmit more data, it has to, you have to have the tower closer to the phone. So we have to put in 300,000 new towers around the United States. They're going to be in the street lamps outside your house. But isn't we, it a more powerful signal that's coming to and going from my phone? Isn't that the nature of this, this health problem? It's faster. It's not a more powerful signal because the waves themselves don't penetrate as far into your body as 2G and 3G. But, there's going to, but the problem is that the tower is going to be closer to so you. So what? We don't know. Okay, they've done a huge study with 2G and 3G in mice, and they have found an increased risk of cellular changes that could lead to cancer. That's the concern. Most of us feel that radio frequency <clears throat> waves are safe, Stuart. We do, but we want to see long-term studies. I don't want to see this. Take a long I, time. I don't want to see it slow the wheels of progress here. Okay. It's a huge technological advance. I can use it medically to operate remotely. Love, okay. love the idea.